Adams. Wait, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a. What's going on? Send me a love in my car. Welcome to it. Then I guess if he's like a teenager's on a mission, gonna like S A B C one. Zanati for sure. Good afternoon. Absolutely, we're very to Kent and a lawyer, and this is of course the most talented host on your television right now. Need I say more? You come back and we're to see ya. And together we are the bro team to bring you nothing but the very best when it comes to edutainment. Yes. So today, Donna, we're talking about something that you really obsessed with yes Impala. Hey. it's all cool guys singing jelly one thing about sia guys you'll turn the ball and i come jelly next when it comes to all my games with soccer yeah at least i know i'm not the only one i'm sure about kodabanya yes about yeah. today ball and in yes with the ball is actually the biggest sport like i am zanti and it's one of the famous and popular sports around the world yes now let's go to tom's studies in the right we like digging deep so like about certain topics yes. but today we're talking about soccer and in donna in things on jelly on about today's episode nessa so funda gabanzi good ball is not only just the game or staying fit in Dwana. It's not just a sport, yeah. it is a game changer. Yo! That's what I'm saying, I'm not going to like that. That's what I'm Let's get the show on the road. Here's what's coming up on today's episode of Teenagers on a Mission. We go out to see how a group of people use soccer to change the lives of the youth in Mzansi forever and give them hope for the future. Have you ever wondered how it's possible for soccer players to maneuver the ball so effectively? Let's go back in time to see how soccer evolved. Discover the incredible things in store for this super game. And make sure you pay attention so that you can look good during the quiz. Sunbeam. Oh yes, Bavetti, now to TMZ is all about communicating with you guys via social media. And today is no different, Bavetti. Now I'm talking about Bavetti, but what is What is your favorite local soccer team? What color is Pete or Ntlaganipo on Facebook? My favorite soccer team is Kaiser Chiefs. Yes! Silapo Mfana. Or is Milgas Pete Ubani Uvosi? My favorite soccer team is Orlando Pirates. Anyway, Bavetti, keep those comments coming in on Facebook and on Twitter, Bavetti. On Facebook, you are TMZ. On Twitter, at Tom's underscore SABC underscore Uno, let's go into my fit martini. Let's go top. We started the game, Bafetu, with our road show. Sise Kimbali touched down the floss to high school, Bafetu. Right next to me is Umchita Ngzumbuza, my question. What's up, my guy? Yes, I'm Zinga. What's your name? I'm Pimelo. Okay, Pimelo, please tell me, what is soccer? Um, soccer, it's a, it's a sport mm -hmm. that's been played by male and female. Mm -hmm. And it's like, for instance, like the Premier League in South Africa, the Absa Premier Cup. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I guess is why it's soccer with experience to bring social change in our community. Um, it can have a positive impact on your life. For instance, like people like um, children who do drugs, you mean like if you have the, the sports then everything can be well. Have you ever played soccer before? Yes, I have. <laughs> As some to all, and he's soccer pitch and then I'm um, goal to score. Cool, guys. So, most of us know more or less about soccer. See, as you see, Dalagan Jani, how many players, no goodsy, we know Jan Bot Lali Pola. But as I'm so bad, goodsy, I think I think, what exactly is soccer for those who don't know it? Check this out. Soccer is a game played between two teams of 11 players each. But Lala on a rectangular field with goal posts on each side. Now, the object of the game is to get a goal, which is done when one team places the ball in a goal post. None of the players can touch the ball with their hands or arms, except for the goalkeepers who stay on opposite sides of the field protecting the goal posts. Different forms of soccer have been played as long as 2,000 years ago in China, Greece, and Central America. Isoka Preso Kala took place in December 1863 in London and was between two football clubs of the region. In 1872, the first international soccer match took place between England and Scotland and they drew the match. And in 1990, soccer officially became an Olympic sport and expanded even more when the Women's Soccer World Cup was established a year later. 
Guys, so most talented soccer players actually make their living out of Ugzali Bola and Duana. I mean, this could mean big bucks because Kona Bataba Badalwa in Mali is serious just for Ugzali Bola. Mvana, you have to find a Cristiano Ronaldo, who was actually the most expensive soccer player in the world when I was 2016, when in Manchester United offered to pay a billion rand to acquire his services. Kabanga. A billion rand? For Ugzali Bola and Duana, Ukechi Manje. Yeah, yes, and guys, tell us your thoughts on social media. We're gonna take a shot at break. We'll be back. Don't go anywhere. Saboya. Yeah. So I'm gonna put some Zanti Rachi in SABC One Way Live and TV are Uno. This is of course the biggest and the best entertainment show. It teenagers on a mission. Yes, my favorite today we're talking about soccer and Dwana and Nazgu Titina Bat Balaam Zanti is soccer CIA Nanya. But guys, soccer is not just a sport. Yes. It could do so much more. Mm, and we want to see exactly that. Mm -hmm. Ahu You know what time it is, your boy C A W D Y pronounced Caddy yet again running the streets of Kimbali. So I mentioned in Amkaji but fair to Nas Guti, social development is very important for communities. While Satana Numchita who uses soccer as a tool for actually uplifting his community. Kanjani Linda Buyenza Kanjani, I saw you man, it's you and me in this mission. Aspangin. Good afternoon. How's it Kelly? I'm good, how are you? Wonderful yourself. I'm great, I'm great. So but I'm Namkaji, you are gonna be my mission. So, Bagashela, trying to find out what exactly do you do. But before we get to that, please tell us who you are, what do you do, and where are we? Kerry, my name is Leslie Abrams. I'm uh, working at Love Life. We are in Kimberley today, mm -hmm. and we are the Kimberley Football for Hope Love Life Y Centre. Yes. And what we do in Kimberley at this Y Centre is we've created a safe space where young people can actually come every day from Monday to Saturday yeah. to engage in sports and recreation activities. The Football for Hope Centre is uh, two and a half years old currently. It's part of the 2010 football, uh, FIFA Football for Hope legacy project of mm -hmm. 20 similar facilities like this throughout the continent of Africa. Mm. This being one of those facilities. Uh, I started working at Love Life uh, in uh, 2005. Okay. Before then, I was an educator, mm -hmm, a teacher, mm -hmm. and this is my passion. Before being a teacher, mm. I was involved in sports and recreation. Yes. So I'm, I'm actually living my life. Yes, amazing, amazing. So tell me, what made you actually live, get into the stream of, of teaching kids and taking them away from the streets and putting them to do such activities? It, it doesn't take a lot for me to come because this is my passion. Yeah. I'm giving back to the community where I grew up in, mm -hmm. giving back to the young people. Because if you look at all of the challenges facing young people today, mm. uh, I think it's just important for everyone to do a little bit every day to yeah. ensure that our young people have something to grow up to. Yeah. Yeah, which is really important. So much. So tell me about the activities that you guys have here. Do, um, so kids come here after school? After school. Okay. So Kerry, what we're doing in, uh, during the course of the morning, mm -hmm. we have a lot of field workers called groundbreakers. Okay. These groundbreakers and the pinches go to the respective schools within the area yeah. to serve as outreach programs. Yeah. So these programs, they go to these schools and some of the, 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 the core focus of what they do is healthy lifestyles. Okay, so tell me the activities that you guys have that, that teach the kids to, to live a healthy lifestyle. Healthy lifestyle. Yeah. One of these things is edu uh, information, yeah. first of all. Yeah. is giving them an indication of what do you need to do to have a healthy body. Yeah. And then what we have, so, uh, some of the programs that we do have available for them is programs such as your play for life. Yeah. So where they actually involved in sports and recreation yeah. mm. and playing as a way of getting your body healthy, mm. staying mm. healthy, mm -hmm. eating healthy, staying away from drugs as a means and ways to mm. ensure that your body stay healthy. Mm. If you want to live or have a, a lasting uh, sports career, mm -hmm. you need to stay away from issues like drugs, engaging in early sexual activities. Yeah. And those are the activities that we play, uh, that we engage with. These programs also include modular programs. Okay. Modular programs for young people on a daily basis are able to engage with p young people of their age yeah. and engage on issues of what affects them, how, how does it affect them, and how can they be uh, provided with information mm. uh, and education yeah. that will assist them to navigate themselves through some of these daily challenges. Yeah. Yeah. 
Now, but fair to Ininga Kulu is science involved with Ebola, it's even hard to know where to begin. Newton's third law of motion states that whenever you exert a force on something, it exerts the same force back at you, just in the opposite direction. The same amount of force goes into his foot as goes into the ball. The ball is lighter than his leg, only the ball starts to move. It does mean that players experience a lot of forces on their bodies while playing, which is why they have to be strong. How do you make sure that they actually live a healthy lifestyle and they follow the programs that you guys give them? Correct, you know what, the, uh, kids will be kids. Yeah. And what we are doing is that you're actually using soccer, mm. you're using football mm. to attract them because they want, as you are saying, mm. they want to play soccer. Yeah. But now you use soccer as a vehicle, as a tool mm. to draw them in. Mm. Once they get here, you start teaching them about teamwork. Yeah. You start teaching them about respect. Yeah. You, thought, uh, you start teaching about respecting one another. Mm. Specifically, if you look at issues affecting our country today, issues yeah. about gender-based violence, mm. violence against women and children. Yeah. How do you do you use soccer as that tool mm. to talk about respect, yeah. talk about equal rights, mm. equal opportunities, and getting young boys to start playing with girls on a soccer pitch, something they love, and through that, teaching them the values of respect for one another, teamwork and how to look after each other. Yeah, that is, that is amazing. And through your experience of using soccer as a tool, how has it been, like the response from the community? We, we've been at this facility for over two and a half years. Yeah. One of the biggest issues uh, before we set up this facility was the area, yeah. violence, gangster, yeah. vandalism, uh, how these kids will not uh, respond to such a program. Mm. And I am pleased to tell you that two and a half years, we had no issues of breaking set up facility. Wow. Young people are aware that this facility is for them. So they've started to take ownership. Mm. They've taken ownership. And when they come here, one of the things that we do is to give them an opportunity to play the, the, the thing that they want to play, mm -hmm. play sports. And through that, all we ask them is, guys, respect each other, look after each other, and play as a team, do what a team does, and support each other. What they do with their feet seems like feats of magic. For instance, when they pass to each other and maneuver the ball, it seems like they are doing it slowly or like the ball becomes putty under their feet. Now, local is because they are utilizing the significant phenomenon called momentum. Now, by using Inyao Zabo to slow the momentum of the ball and then moving with it, they have more control over it and can pass it on again easily. Okay, so let's talk about the facility. What do you have in the premises? So what we have here, as you can see here, we have uh, an, an artificial AstroTurf. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's developed for a five, seven aside uh, format. So we're not looking at a big uh, 11, aside, 11 aside football pitch where kids don't get that tired easily. Yeah. But it's a more interactive way of playing sports as we grew up. Strat football, mm, mm, you mm, pitch mm, ball yeah. in the street, playing that way. Mm. Now this is the type of environment that we're trying to create. So what we have, we have the five uh, astro turf here yeah. as a football pitch. Mm -hmm. We have a basketball court on uh, on this uh, site. We have a netball court on the site. And what we also have inside is we have uh, our computer room. Yeah. The objective about the co uh, computer room is not only sports related, but how do we link young people through uh, to what is up to date? Yeah. What is happening now? Technology. Our kids are on the phones, mm. tablets and everything. Mm. Soon we've got sponsored through this project, through the technology. What we are busy with is to get young people on their tablets. We have a Facebook page also for the facility. Oh, wow. So when we have activities, it's uh, being shared mm. throughout the, the community. Yeah. And our young people are engaging every day. Incredible. So, after school, how long do they stay for the program and where does it take them? Where does the program actually take these kids? The, the facility is open every day from 8 o'clock in the morning till about 7 o'clock in the evening. Yeah. Now this includes uh, during the course of the morning, we basically partnering with school programs where we engage and in the afternoon we busy with active programs yeah. where they come, they play sports, they play soccer and by playing the soccer, they are busy throughout the day. Yeah. What we are also engaging with in terms of a partnership mm -hmm. with the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture as well as your, your SAFA, mm. those structures where we partner with them, they come in, they also use the platform to come and scout talent. 
So as much as you get young people to start focusing yeah. on uh, education, furthering their careers, mm. you also use soccer mm. as a means, as a vehicle where they are able to engage actively in the program. Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. Sure. There's so much into soccer affairs. We're gonna take a shot at break. Don't go anywhere because we just started. There's still more coming up. Mm, in the meantime, though, we know Funugwa is a good When a lot of community are good, a bola, then I search into Zoranjani for a good purpose. Yeah. Hit us up on social media, and while you do exactly that, we take a quick commercial break. So, Mona, in Vawe, Dolo, Savoya. Welcome back, Fish. You guys are still watching SABC One in Zante for sure. Let's go places visiting a teenagers on a mission. If you just joined us, we haven't missed much, Mara. You've missed a little. <laughs> Absolutely, but Fish. Today, Mzanti, we're actually exploring what's a ball and a shinjagan journey. A band to ball and a Mzanti. That's a teen. I just feel like I'm in the mood. Man, yo, that's a team, my Fish. I just begin that. <laughs> Yeah, obviously, Funeo Gubi and disadvantages. Let's talk about the challenges that you face and the advantages of the program. I think one of the challenges that one, you always want to do more mm. because the challenges within the community is a lot. Mm. Challenges are a lot. Mm. One of the things that we would uh, actually like to do is to ensure that as a program, we attract more parents mm. to support their kids when they're involved with soccer. Mm. Now these young people want to show off. Yeah. They want to show their skills. Mm. And who better to show that skills off family. than to their family. And also, it then provides you an opportunity that what you teach them here, mm. the parents can actually take it home with and actually build on what you are doing. Mm. And it becomes a whole community looking after their kids. Yeah. Because we've got teachers that are involved, we've got uh, us that are involved as partners, uh, in NGOs, but we need much more support mm. from the parents. Mm. Parents need to mm. take more responsibility yeah. when it comes to the development of mm. their children. There you have it, Professor. I am so inspired. And Dwani, thank you for the you. If a community comes together, and Dwani, it can go a long way. Mboni, I am telling you, I am telling you, but I say education, the entertainment, by the way, is entertainment. They're doing it TOMZ style. Otherwise, this is what we call mission accomplished. Your boy, C-A-W-G-Y, pronounced Caddy. Let's out of here. Yes, we're prepared to not go if it clearly for the TOMZ quiz challenge. I hope that you guys are super amped and ready to play along on social media. We're prepared to spoon the ones that are in a bangani so we can put your knowledge to the test. With that being said, we're prepared to let's play and see what's going to happen. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. San Monani Buffet too. You know that you are very special to us, and that's why I'm trying to step into the Silla Panaga Eflo High School. Now, when I now in Valas is Miss Celes, ready to have some fun with you guys as we explore the amazing world of science and technology. Are you guys ready to experience the ultimate entertainment? Well, as some baby. Yes, Buffet to Celes are interacting again with the great 11 learners, and so talk about what are they all about. Now I'm going to give you a brief explanation about how science and technology has transformed in Ilozé too. Now we're going to use science as the system that we use to better understand the universe. Now we're going to talk about knowledge is power and with this power we can give birth to great future leaders. So I'm going to give you a brief explanation about how science and technology will empower the learners and leave them motivated. Learning about the can also assist the learners with career guidance as this is the time to be thinking about your future. Number two, it's really cool to be smart and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. He sang our TMZ song and got the spirits high. Number two, now let's go to TMZ. Wouldn't be TMZ without Umjaiva Nyana. Now let's get about to Kashi. We learn best through Umjaiva. Are you guys ready? Sure, sure, sure. Cool, John. I can please have the first question. Question here to Kala Itzi. What is the most popular sport in South Africa? Is it soccer, rugby, cricket, or hockey? Press the buzzer if you know the answer. Soccer. Or to get a soccer, as one of the is it correct or incorrect? Go, 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 Soccer indeed! We then moved on to the second round where we saw Vanessa knocking everyone out and therefore making it through to the last round as he is a TLMZ speed round master. Guess what's going to happen? Is Omshaya, no Mayona, is Oshaya. 
Okay, so, so I'm well done for making it to the last round. Again, Alena Sibiza in your TOMZ Speed Round Master. So I want to let my puzzles lower and I wish this one. And if we keep on jumping up and down, we'll find you any splendor. We'll just choose that between the two, now. Cool. Now my rules again. Now, so we say something to see one, Nena. And the foot, you've got two minutes to complete this. So if it's Katsako's Peter, we'll come to take over the late game. You get to be a guest presenter on Teenagers on a Mission. It's if you see one, it's for sure. How do you feel? Nervous. Your time starts now. Congratulations to Swami for winning that one and completing the puzzle in 59 seconds. I come along with the final with TOMZ Log, where you actually stand a chance to become a guest presenter right here on TOMZ. 59 seconds, how do you feel? Wonderful, awesome, everything. Speechless, ne? Yeah. Well done, my sister. Otherwise, Lena Gassi is saying speed around a master. Until next time, I'm afraid to keep tuning in to Teenagers on a Mission. Thanks, my friend. To now, we're going to find out now. All you have to do is simply slide in our DMs or shang email on toms at sabc.co.za. So, guys, yes, Gitty Polar has been around for hundreds of years. So, now, this is going to be Lizzo Chinja in the future or not. Check this out. New forms of soccer are being developed and implemented in different countries. As these provide new opportunities for Amapizinesi, the act of starting new forms of soccer will gain popularity. Even now, Lanagem Zanti, Fife Aside Soccer is gaining traction. The formal form of soccer in itself is unlikely to change much. Now, Loco is because it has a very simple set of rules that are widely accepted. This is where we call it a wrap. I feel to pay Lily Messi here. So thank you so much for joining us in today's episode, my friends. I hope you guys have learned because Ebola is not just a sport or staying fit. It is a game changer indeed. Absolutely, my friends. Let's keep the conversation going on social media. On Facebook, you are, of course, www.facebook.com forward slash TRMZ. On Twitter, at Tom's underscore SABC underscore one. Referee, it's in the website yet. www.sabceducation.co.za forward slash TOMZ. I'm fresh by Kelly on Twitter. And I'm C underscore G on Twitter. And that's how we wrap things up. But Fitz, thank you so much for watching. Jing and Talianza, goodbye. And to Tennessee City. Go! Here's what's coming up next time on TOMZ. Tlangana with an incredible Mzanti hero who made it her business to help those who had no place to go. And change in Pilozabo forever. Why do we need food as a basic human need? Tolagabanti, how and where the first homeless shelters took form. See how we can keep helping those in need in the future. And keep your mind sharp with our challenge quiz, Asambe. We are going to go to TMZ in Jalong, we are going to go to 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 Jalong,